So uh, when we decided to try and make a, a model of the custard factory, uh, we just started with cereal packets and little boxes and took photographs of the place and uh, began sticking them on. But we didn't realise quite how hard this was all going to be and what a journey it would uh, end up being. We used um, small uh, boxes such as toothpaste tube boxes to make the trains and things with. Uh, we just drew on the windows and doors and then painted them up with watercolour paints. It was very simple. I thought it would be fun to put it in a sort of uh, okay. uh, bird's custard sort of livery. All this kind of stuff is just uh, simple stuff that uh, uh, harks back to uh, old times. Uh, stuff you might have done at school and things that used to be done little boxes and glue paper mache and stuff very simple as we began to find the shapes of all the different buildings we glued them together and added tape to help hold it and make them into large pieces so that we could fit them in but it was really hard to figure out where everything fits because we didn't have any particular um, plans or anything as such, we just went by what was around us and went around taking photographs and literally looking out the window what was in front of us. So it was an interesting experience to do that, to try and sort of recreate a place that you know so well uh, and where you are at the, at the very moment. Fun to do actually, really good fun. And to see it day by day uh, coming together, taking shape very satisfying thing to do. So we, we haven't gone to great lengths to try and make everything perfectly accurate of course, just done, done it to the best of our ability and um, had fun with it, kept it, um, kept it light, not, not stressful, Did a little bit each day, it probably took us about um, somewhere between uh, one and two months to do doing it that way. We haven't been too intense about it. It's been a lot of fun. And we know there's things wrong with it. There's The scale is out in places and the shapes of the buildings are wrong and um, probably even bits missing and stuff that we haven't figured out. Definitely all the roofs, all the roof shapes and things. We haven't even really um, you know, tried too hard to get them all correct. We did the little dragon with plasticine and some cardboard. Uh, again, it's nice using simple materials that you might have used in school for stuff. It, it's nostalgic, it reminds you of stuff uh, from the past. We had to use a lot of different uh, tools, of course scissors, craft knives, paint, paints, brushes, different types of glue and tape. Um, not very high tech, but uh, one of the fun things we did was able to do was to take photographs and literally use them on the model, which get, gives a little little fun bit of reality to it. All this section was extremely hard to get right because we just couldn't figure out where the buildings joined up and where they met, where the dome was, and we had to redo it four or five times before we were satisfied with it. But uh, you know, that's part of the fun, part of the challenge. All the little corners and nooks and crannies of the, the, the complex. It's really fun to uh, do this. Make you really appreciate the complexity of, of the whole uh, sort of space. Gives you a very you know clear understanding of uh, just how many different buildings are there and what's around you. You might otherwise not really appreciate.
you walk past every day, if it doesn't, if a, a certain part of it doesn't concern you, then you don't really uh, think about it. Really. But to do this it forces you to sort of realise all, all the things around. And finding the little bits and pieces was, was great fun too, because nothing is, um, we haven't really bought stuff for it, it's all just bits of little bits and bobs of junk that we've got lying around, and little uh, bits of plastic and matchsticks and bits of card and stuff. So uh, the whole thing hasn't cost a great deal to make, just the glue and paints I suppose. On the, uh, the viaduct we uh, um, tried to uh, get most of the features on there so we've done the um, tunnels underneath and the tracks and uh, tried to get the main features that are there it was more fun to do it this way you know perhaps we could have got out and bought uh, model train tracks and put them on but uh, you know, this is more fun more fun way of doing it. A little bit of the canal. I think uh, I didn't go too too much in depth with that, uh, so to speak. Obviously, it's lower down than than the ground level, uh, but we didn't try and incorporate that. The skate ramp was great fun to do because uh, we'd never seen it as such, the real skate skate ramp. So we was able to um, have a look at that and. Uh, then go away and make a little replica of it and put it under the arch where it where it belongs. We got a little old um, matchbox comma van and painted it up as a, a custard van. Maybe a nice winter alternative to the ice cream van. And so um, the finished model is pretty busy. We've got all the little people in there, it took a long time to get all the little people glued down. We've got a, probably somewhere between 100 and 200 people, little Sabutio figures and soldiers, uh, adapted sol little soldiers and whatever little scale figures, we can, whatever we can get hold of really. Painted them up with acrylic paints. And um, yeah, we're really, really happy with the end result. Really happy with it, it was great fun. And of course we've got a great feeling for it because this is a place we know really well and love. Keep noticing things that we haven't done yet, things we've missed or need to need to finish. But there you go, something like this maybe is never finished. We've used lots of cars, um, sort of roughly... Um, Vintage toy cars, nothing too modern, just to give it a feel, a certain feel of perhaps a vintage time or something. Nothing specific, but um, sort of um, cars that we had when we were kids, Matchbox and Lesney, Lesney cars and Corgi cars, that type of thing. We've used um, gift wrap paper for the water in the two ponds. And um, I don't think um, there's a lot more detail we could add. We've really enjoyed it. You know, maybe we could have tried to make all the little balconies on the on the greenhouse. I don't know. I'll use coins for the tables. That was fun. And little um, packs of staples for the chairs. The strips of staples glued onto card. Pretty busy. We've done a little marching band going down Gibbs Street there. Just happened to have a little marching band set we've had for ages. Well, the Green Man is mostly um, uh, clay and plasticine and some paper mache and stuff mixed in. Didn't try and go for accurate um, copy, just rough, a rough idea of it. And we've used some bits of scouring pads for the sort of greenery. A 
Lots of details in there. We've got the table, tennis tables. And the little bridges there in the linking the greenhouse. This is a nice um, ground level view, as if you were to scale. Of course, it's all so compact that it's very hard to uh, get any sort of camera or anything round in there to see all the detail. Very satisfied with the result, really. It's been great, it's been great to do. All the Sabutio figures, they're vintage as well. Took all the stands off them. All the little, little um, circular bases, and then painted them up with acrylics. Use a lot of cardboard, you can imagine. And then many, many times we got something we thought was right and then had to go and change it again a few days later when we realised this building didn't join up to that bit or this corner was wrong or whatever. But gradually it all came together like a, like a big jigsaw. Graffiti was great fun as well, taking photographs of that and using it. Just hope nobody asks us to do the insides.